Did you guys know that you can play Sonic Mania on the Mew Mini Plus? That's right, take a look at this fellas. Now I gotta be honest, I never played a lot of Sonic games, so I am not familiar with this title and I'm not very good at it, but I'll show you guys some footage. It's gonna be embarrassingly bad. <laughs> User Snowwolf on Reddit has compiled the Sonic Mania decompilation, and he compiled it for the Miu Mini, and thanks to the Onion OS team, it can be played on your handheld. I'll link the post below because it has most of the information. As far as I know, the Sonic Mania decompilation was authored by Rubber Ducky Cooley. If I didn't give credits to the correct person, please let me know in the comments down below so I can make sure that everyone is properly credited. Alright, now let's get into the steps to actually get to playing Sonic Mania on your handheld. The first step is to install Onion OS for your device. In my opinion, I think it is the best custom operating system for the Miu Mini or the Miu Mini Plus bar none. Since I covered the steps so many times, I'm only going to go over it very briefly, so if you need any more help, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'm also going to link my written guide, it's for Nintendo DS games, but there is a section dedicated to updating and installing Onion OS, so you can refer to that if you need more help. Alright, once we're on the site, we're going to go click on that link, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to download the latest version here. You're going to use a program like 7-Zip to extract the contents. And then before we copy it over, you're going to use a program like Rufus or GUI Format to format the micro SD card to FAT32. I do want to mention this here, formatting means you will erase everything on that micro SD card. So if there's any data you want to keep, I would highly recommend backing that up before formatting. Once you format your card, it's going to be very difficult, if not impossible, to get the data back. Once you copy the files over, insert the micro SD card back into your Miu Mini, turn it on, and let the installation finish. That should take a few minutes. That's about it. Once you have Onion OS installed, the next step is to install the ports collection. We'll do this by going to the package manager in the apps folder. In the Verify tab, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom first, and then we're going to scroll up to Ports Collection. We're going to make sure that it is enabled, and then we're going to press Start twice to install it and exit. Now, if you go back to the Games section, we'll see that Ports is enabled, and this step is done. For this final step, we will need to copy over the necessary files to get Sonic Mania running. To do this, we will need two sets of files. One will be the ports files available on the Onion UI GitHub page as shown here. And the second will be the data.rsdk file available from a Sonic Mania installation. If you check out the GitHub page, you'll see that there are a surprising amount of ports available for the Miu Mini and Miu Mini Plus. I would highly recommend checking them out, especially Cape Story if you guys like action platformers. As you scroll all the way down to the bottom here, you will find sonic.mania.7z. This is the file that we want to download. Once it's downloaded, you're going to extract the contents using a program like 7-Zip. We're going to go navigate inside the folder here. And then we want to get to the Sonic Mania directory as shown here. This is going to be ROMs, ports, games, and then Sonic Mania. This is the folder that we want to copy the data.rsdk file into. Alright, now I'll show you how to get the data.rsdk file. I'll be using my Epic Games installation because this game was free on Epic Games. If you guys want a source of legitimate and free games, the Epic Games storefront has free games every week. The storefront is definitely worse than Steam, but in my opinion, I think it's worth it just for the free games. Once you go into the library, we're going to click on the three little dots here, and we're going to go into Manage. You're going to see that in Installation, there's a little folder icon. We're going to click on that. 
We go to the static mania directory and we see the data.rsdk file. We're going to right click on this and we're going to hit copy. We're going to go back to our Sonic Mania folder for the ports section. We're just going to paste that in there. Now, if you have Steam, the process is going to be very similar. You're going to go into Library and click on the game and right click on it and go to Properties. We're going to go to Install Files and then you'll see a section called Browse right here. Once you click on that, you'll go directly into the game's directory and you can grab the file from there. Once you have the data.rsdk file copied, we'll need to copy that entire directory structure over to our micro SD card. So we're going to go back to the root. We're going to copy this ROMs folder into the root of our micro SD card. And drag and drop it in here. And then we're pretty much done. Now after this step, don't forget to safely eject the micro SD card and plug it back into your Miu Mini. Now when we start the Miu Mini, we're going to go into the port section. And at first it'll be empty, don't worry, just select the import ports option. Once that's done, the Sonic Mania file will be in the platform section. And now we're playing Sonic Mania. This is how the game normally looks. It's in a widescreen aspect ratio, which isn't very ideal. You have two options if you don't like widescreen. The first is to press select an R1 to stretch it to full screen. This is how the game looks stretched. The second option is to cut off a bit from the left and the right and crop it to a 4x3 aspect ratio. The game looks much better but the trade-off is that the parts of the UI will be cut off and some details on the side will be lost. I found a video by YouTuber Benjamin Muse that goes more into detail about the differences between cropping and native 4x3. Unfortunately, the method he uses to force a native 4x3 aspect ratio no longer seems to work, so our two choices are to stretch it to full screen or to crop it. If you want to watch the video, I'll link it in the comments below. If you want to crop the video, anything looks pretty nice cropped and still very playable, Reddit user mod has the changes we need to make to the settings.ini file. Let's go navigate to our micro SD card. We're going to go into the ROMs folder, the ports folder, games, and then Sonic Mania, and there we'll find our settings.ini file. Before we make any changes, I highly recommend making a backup. We're going to do that by copying and pasting the settings.ini file. We can rename this to something like original to make sure we don't confuse the file. All right, we can edit the settings.ini file by clicking on it. We're going to scroll all the way down to the video section right here. And we're going to go find the win with entry. As we can see here is 424 currently. We're going to change that to 352. We're going to scroll a little bit further down and we're going to change the max picks with entry to 352 as well. And as per Mon's recommendation, we're going to add an entry called picks with equals 352. The main reason we're using 352 is that that is the recommended setting from Snow Wolf, where it hits that sweet spot and it won't break too many things. Once we're done, we're going to hit Control S to save. We're going to safely eject the micro SD card, plug it back into your Mew Mini, and you'll see that sweet crop aspect ratio. Anyways, that's going to be it. Thank you so much for dropping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you guys need any more help, please feel free to leave a comment. I try to read every comment and respond in a timely fashion. Also check out the rest of the ports. There are so many neat little ports and I think it really gives life to the handheld. Thanks to Snow Wolf and the Onion OS team for letting us play Sonic Mania on the Miu Mini Plus. And thank you to everyone else out there doing all the hard work of making the handheld so amazing. It's very surprising how the Miu Mini Plus and the Miu Mini 
can do so much given its limited hardware. Before I keep rambling, hope you guys are staying safe and staying out there, and I'll catch you guys next time. What next? Playing Dota 2? <laughs>